Hey guys, how's it going? Hope everyone's having a good trading week. So I just thought I'd come on in here and ask yourself a question. Why do you trade? Why do you actually trade? Okay, because I get it. Like back testing, live testing, not getting the results you want, losses after losses. It can take a toll. It can really take a toll. I'm not on here to say that that's okay or that that that's not okay. What I'm here to say is that's the reality. Okay, that's the reality of the profession that you picked. This forex world, it's honestly it's not going to show you any mercy. It will genuinely bring you to your knees. Okay, but it's up to you, up to you, the individual, to make sure that you don't quit and that you don't stay on your knees. You have to just keep going. Just stay in your lane. I think the first video I did, just stay in your lane and stay in your own journey. And just keep moving. Right? I'm not, I'm not here to like give like a motivational speech or anything. But honestly, you guys ask like have to ask yourself. Do you actually spend effective time on the charts? Do you spend time just looking at charts? reading price action, understanding your pair, understanding the sessions you trade, understanding the different characteristics of that pair. You know, because everyone's just so quick to just go and make money. And then they understand, you know, oh, this is actually harder than what I thought. And then they quit. Or they start mourning. Or they change strategies. This strategy isn't working. That's not working. They find new mentors and this and that. But are you actually putting in the work? Just because you looked at the charts for a week, it doesn't mean anything. Are you effectively, consistently putting in the chart work? Are you journaling? And are you reviewing your journal? Because it's all well and good journaling. But if you're not reviewing it, if you're not taking information out of it, you know, at the end of the week, end of the day, or whatever it is you do, if you're not actually taking information from your losses, taking information from your wins, from your break-evens, from the swerve trades, from the trades that you missed, then what's the point? Are you just journaling because somebody on YouTube said you should journal your trades? Or your mentor said you should journal your trades? There needs to be purpose behind what everything that you do. There needs to be some sort of purpose behind it. Okay? Do you stick to your routine? Do you even have a routine? These are all questions that you have to ask yourself. Because trust me when I say this, yeah. Trading is so much more than just sitting in front of a screen and clicking sell and buy. It's a lot, lot more than that. It's your lifestyle. It's, it's generally, when I first started, I remember somebody telling me clearly, it's a lifestyle. Albeit I was doing retail at the time, you know. That was part of my journey. I know a lot of people these days, they jump straight into SMC. That's completely fine. But retail was the start and part of my journey, a huge part of my journey. It taught me a lot. But I remember somebody telling me, this is a lifestyle. And it changed my perception on it. There's no easy way in this. You have to put in the work. You literally have to put in so much work. Because a lot of people come to me these days and they're like, yeah, so I tried that trading stuff, by the way, for a couple of months. It didn't work out. Like a couple of months, three months, four months. And I almost feel disrespected because I know how much work I put in. I know how much work I put in till this day. Do you know what I mean? And by no means am, am I a perfect trader. I'm you know, far from a perfect trader or even probably a good trader. You know, the only thing I've done is I've created a plan that works for me and I execute that plan day in and day out. I turn up every single day. I still put in the work. Because I understand if you want to continue surviving in this field, you have to keep improving. Keep making those tweaks. Keep doing your case studies. You know, now that doesn't mean because I still take losses. I still take break evens. It's very clear on my telegram. You know, I don't hide anything. I show my losses. I show my swerves. I show my wins. This is just the reality. 
or you have to keep going you have to understand you know what just because you take a loss or just because you take a break even it doesn't mean anything if you're putting in the work then you you understand that you understand that more you know you can accept a loss you can accept a break even because you know it's a numbers game you know i'm not saying you you know it does it, of course if you take multiple losses it's going to annoy you a bit that's okay but you get to learn to control your emotions the emotions are not going away guys it's going to be there 100% you're human beings we are all humans the emotions emotions are just part of it we just get better at dealing with it that's it that's it we just get better at dealing with emotions okay trust me it takes a lot of sacrifice it takes a lot of sacrifice to be consistently winning in this game okay just be patient take a step back you know get to the basics of it understand market structure go then go on to then understand the supply and demand you know then improve your understanding on liquidity then your entries the most crucial part of course risk management how you going to get out where you going to get out build a trading plan around this have a routine you know just be patient like the good old saying goes it's a marathon not a sprint stop trying to sprint because you might make a quick buck but it's about consistently making that buck so again i'm going to ask yourself i'm going to ask you guys why do you trade because if your why is not bigger than any of the excuses that you're going to make because trust me everyone's going to make excuses when they you know when they need to back test when they need to live test when they're taking the losses but if your why is much more powerful than your excuses trust me you'll be okay so that's it for me this week guys as always if you've got any questions just let me know and i'll be sure to get back to you and I hope everyone has a safe trading week.